So the policy was defined. Now I have to deploy it. But I will tell you, if I try to deploy it, Terraform will fail, and I will explain why. Remember, in the providers.tf file, I wrote my access key and secret key for my IAM user. I will go to that user. Yes, leave users. This is my user, Terraform tutorial. It is the access key but it has no permission to create a IAM policy. I have to add those permissions and there are two ways. One way is the lazy way and another way is the more correct way. Let's start with the lazy way. You click on add permissions, add permissions. Here click on attach policies directly and select administrator access, which allows to do everything in the cloud. Next, add permissions, refresh the page. It is my attached administrator access policy, which allows me to do everything. It means Terraform, which uses this access key and secret key, will be able to do everything to create the policy, delete policy, and also other stuff like create instances of EC2 servers, create Lambda functions. It is the lazy way, it's very easy to do, but I don't want to do it because it gives too much access. So I'm going to remove it, but if you are lazy, you can leave it. Remove. It was removed, and now I will create a more specific policy. Add permissions, create inline policy. For the service, select IAM, because we want to create an IAM policy. Here in the filter, I write policy. So, first thing which I want my Terraform to do is to create a policy. So, I select create policy, and after Terraform creates the policy, it will want to check if the policy was created correctly. So, it will try to get policy. I have to select it. But if something goes wrong, Terraform will want to delete the policy. So it needs the permission to delete policy. Next thing which we did, we wrote in Terraform to create the JSON policy. In the permissions, it is called policy version. So we want Terraform to be able to create a policy version. After that, Terraform will want to check if it was created correctly. So I have to select get policy version and list policy versions. After the policy version was created and confirmed that it was created correctly, Terraform will want to set it as a default policy version. So I select it. But in case something goes wrong, Terraform needs to be able to delete the policy version. Perfect. I go to my Terraform template. The last thing are the tags. So I need to open again the browser, search for tag policy and tag policy and list policy tags. I selected all the checkboxes I need. I go to resources here is specific, add IRNs. I select my account, so it is the IRN, and now I have to write the policy name which I want to create and delete. I go to Terraform, copy the policy name, paste it here, and it is the full IRN. Click add IRNs, scroll up, click on JSON, and it must be your JSON. All the actions Terraform is allowed to do and the resource on which Terraform is allowed to create and delete the policy. Click on Next. For the policy name, I write create sourced resource, create policy. The policy was created, refresh the page. That's the user. It is its policy, which is inline. I click on that plus sign and I can see the JSON. Just check, it must be the same as it is on my screen. 